A hunting I will go to catch a wonged wabbit. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. In Harrogate Town Center, uh, there was a farmer's market going on this morning and I purchased some stuff. Not everything from the market, but uh, the cabbage, the rabbit, the smoked fish, and the beetroot I bought at the market. At a local produce shop, I purchased the cucumber, dill, red onion. And in a delicatessen, I bought the pumpernickel. The other items I already had at home, the onions, potato, orange, salt, pepper, and flour. I'm going to make a dish with this, several dishes, and we'll see how it goes. My oh, here's the rabbit. <clears throat> I took it out of the package. Uh, when I first bought it, I noticed where it was black and blue, right where, you, where my finger is. I'm saying black and blue, where it's bruised. And I thought it was hit by a car. And believe me, I know what roadkill looks like. But that's from where it was shot. Look at the pellets over there. So this is a uh, freshly shot rabbit. And I'm sure someone had a lot of fun out day in the woods blasting these things. Anyway, I'm going to quarter this thing, maybe fifth it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Here's the kidney. I'm not going to use that, I don't think. But uh, this is a rabbit kidney. Got my little meat cleaver. Let's give this a go. <laughs> what I'm going to do off camera is uh, rinse this off and get rid of those that blood. Thanks a lot, oh, guys. Or how many pieces? One, two, three, four, five, six. A sixth old rabbit. Well, I quartered the rabbit as I showed earlier. Uh, here's one of the legs. So I'm going to put this in this seasoned flour, which is just uh, salt, pepper, and just plain old flour. And I'm going to coat that really well. Set that on the side. Get the back piece. And I'll do this for all the pieces of this rabbit. The secret to a uh, good rabbit is lots of onions and garlic. Anyway, just roughly chopped, like so. And with the garlic, take some cloves. Do a good snacking like that, and then a quick chop. And I'm going to do that for all the onions and garlic that you see here. I'm getting ready to brown the meat. <clears throat> so as you see, I have the floured rabbit. Uh, I have a cast iron skillet or Dutch oven. Dutch oven, I guess is correct. A little corn oil in it. You see it's smoky. So let's watch this splatter. Well, the meat is browning. I'm going to turn it. Uh, you see, it's nicely brown. I'll flip it over now. It's a nicely brown, as you could, as you can see there. So now I'll put this other piece. The last piece, I think, is well brown. There you go. So I'll put that off to the side. Now I'm going to throw the uh, the onions in and garlic. Remember that kidney? I just decided to use it. It's right there. I'm sure it'll add a nice body to the salt. Oh, the onions are nicely browned. I'm going to put the uh, the meat back in, like so. I also have here some rosemary and other seasoning, just a mixture that was in my cupboard. Uh, a hot pepper and some uh, bay leaf. Put that in like that.
Look at that baby. Oh, gotta go for a little taste. It's been bubbling away for like 20 minutes now. Oh. I think it needs a little wine. Mmm. Much better. I think some salt. And some pepper. Pepper. Don't tell my sister. Give it a little bit of stir. We're just about done. The rabbit simmering nicely. And I'm going to make some boiled potatoes to go with it. I threw some garlic in there, as you can see. Oh, potatoes are done. The rabbit's still simmering, and it's done, I'm sure. I'm going to drain the potatoes and plate this all up. Well, I'm done grinding. I'm done having ground this all up. There's some chunky bits in there, but that's all right. It adds to the rustic character of this dish. Well, we're going to plate the, the, the rabbit up. I get a leg in there. Get some gravy. Or zorza, as they say in Germany. A little bit more. You know, it's really hard working this camera when you're all by yourself. When I get married, I'll have a camera woman. I can't wait for that. Well, there it is, all plated up. We have the potatoes, some of the garlic that I boiled with the potatoes, and here is one rabbit leg. So, let's, uh, let's see how this is. It's not very tender, but it is rabbit. It is a wild rabbit. Let's see. It's very good. Um, it can be a little bit more tender, but like I said, the uh, it's wild. So if it was a domesticated rabbit, I'm sure it would be just a little bit more tender. Here are the potatoes and the gravy. Very nice. Thanks a lot, Doc.